I think um, uh, another interesting topic to talk about would be um, sort of this year's Nike basketball models, uh, the LeBron 10, KD 5, Kobe 8. Um, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about those models? Um, I tried on the LeBron 10 uh, the other day at Foot Locker for the first time. Uh, it, it was comfortable, but of course I didn't buy it or else I would be showing it to you right now. Uh, it was a little bit too too sporty looking for me. I've actually bought every LeBron since like the 7. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of LeBrons, and personally I thought uh, this LeBron 10 would look a lot better on feet, but I was thoroughly disappointed when I saw them in the mirror and saw them with my jeans on. I just I couldn't pay $180 plus tax for some basketball shoes that look like some strange pennies almost <laughs> with your jeans over them. I uh, I thought personally the KD4, I have the Weathermans. I love them. Uh, I don't think they're that comfortable in all honesty. Um, it might be where my ankle ball is placed, but I rub against it, so I kind of have to wear higher socks with it. Um, the KD5, I've never, tr I haven't tried on any of the models. Um, but the uh, the KD5, I don't like that they made it higher. I I love the Christmas colorway. I'll be honest. I thought that was dope, but I got other shoes for Christmas, so I didn't buy it. But the other colorways I've been coming out look a lot like Hyperdunks or Hyperfuses and stuff like that. So I don't like how close it is. Uh, the Kobe, the new Kobe, kind of looks like all the other Kobe's. They only make minor adjustments, I think, really. Um, so I'm fine with that. I only have the Galaxies and the Kobe's. Um, my thing with LeBron's is it's such sporty of a of a shoe and serious meant for basketball play that I only buy the ones that are more of a lifestyle release. So like I got the Entourages. That was my exception because I love Entourage, and I got the Dunk Mans because I got a great deal on them. But if I sans those, the only LeBron that I really love is the South Beach because of the colorways and the fact that they use it as a leather, so it's like uh, more of a lifestyle shoe. That's why I want to get the cork uh, LeBron tens because I like champagne and um, I really want I like the lifestyle shoe. I like that style more. So um, I won't be buying any LeBrons unless um, possibly a Galaxy, just because I always love space and stuff like that. Um, but the corks are what I'm going to go for. Otherwise, I might just pass on them all. I'm not. A, I'm a Nike basketball fan sometimes if the right colorway comes out, but it's not something that when they release, unlike Jordans, I want to buy almost every colorway. It has to be. It's the exception for me to buy those shoes, not the rule. And I love the ones I have in my collection. Do not get me wrong. Um, but it has to be the very right colorway to get me excited about the rule. And I love the ones I have in my collection. You know. <laughs> Somebody pulled up the the YouTube page. Um, but uh, personally, I actually. I was really disappointed with all the models, um, to be honest, when I first saw them. Uh, and then I saw the KD5 on feet, and it completely changed my opinion of that shoe. Um, the KD5 is definitely my favorite um, out of this year's Nike basketball models. I will agree, though. I think the Cork LeBron 10s are nice. I think it's going to be a crazy release. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys think it's going to be as crazy as, say, the South Beaches were? The South Beach eights, not nines, or not nine. Oh, the eights. I got, I got the eights. I only waited four hours in the mall in my town, so to me that was an. Extreme. That's true. Actually, That's true. people, uh, real quick, I had a pair of uh, LeBron eights. Actually, we, we should we should uh, adjust that then because I had a pair of LeBron eights that a friend uh, bought on release day and then sold to me retail because he didn't want them. Yeah. I, I sold them for not much more. I think I sold them for like 380 I mean, for those of you who, again, follow my channel, you know I don't sell shoes for that high. Yeah. So, um, I, I sold them for like 380 and they were dead stock. Um, yeah, that's, that's but, how prices were going that day anyways. Like I, well, it, I, got it, I got it, I think, four months later. But that's, oh, that's yeah. interesting because um, the South Beach 8, uh, a lot like the Yeezys actually, mm -hmm. um, when they first came out, the, or the Yeezy, mm -hmm. I'll say the Zen Grey Yeezys, when they first came out, the resale was not all that high, and then it just gradually got crazier and crazier. So, let's say, um, let's say the Le the South Beach LeBron Nine Elites. Then, do you think right. that the corks will be crazier mm -hmm. or uh, not as bad? Much more crazy, I would say, um, because the South Beach, while they're limited, they're av they were available. I know I could have gone and gotten those. It was by the Yeezy um, day right near the usual release date, so I, I didn't have the money for them at that point. Um, but I, these corks are the most uncommon material I've ever seen. 
Obviously, the Champagne connection to me is cool, and I think they're going to be super limited just because they don't have as wide of an audience. So you're not going to put them on Foot Locker, and kids aren't going to buy them to play basketball in. So they have to be more for solely sneaker collectors. So I mean, at this point, I'm just hoping Concepts gets them. Like that's my like. I just want Concepts for sneakers from Boston to get them. And my concern is them even having like very many pairs in the Boston area. So I think I'm planning this to be like a big, in my opinion, release and very limited. I could be wrong. I mean, I don't have much to base that on. Just my opinion of what's going to go on. You would know better than me, Ian. Um, but I, I definitely plan an overnight camp out for those. Um, Everything I've heard has been, uh, yeah, limited numbers on them for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I was definitely thrown off, as well as everyone I know, um, was thrown off by the uh, the release on the uh, employee or sponsorship Nike mm -hmm. store so early, uh, which is how you have uh, all those pairs on eBay right now. Well, what one are they going for on eBay, by the way? I haven't checked. Uh, would you say how much are they going for? Yeah. Uh, several thousand. Yeah. See, that's an indication because even even though people know they're going to release, they're going for several thousand pre-release. Even though it might be friends and family box, or I don't, I don't really know. I didn't really know too much about that. Um, but it, it, they're going to be going for seven, eight hundred, I think, right after release day, and probably sell around that price as well. I would, in an estimation value, be if not more. Yeah. No. I mean, I definitely think they're going to go for a lot of money. Um, I I personally I I was I really like them. I'm considering whether or not I actually want to pay for them. I think the price tag is like three hundred five or something. Which oh is yeah, that's right. Very high. <laughs> but yeah. um, I mean, if you were able to get the special packaging for three hundred five, then maybe uh, you know I could I could see that. But everything I've heard is that the the quality is great. Um, especially the brown leather on the tongue is supposed to be a, a really really nice leather. So. Um, at, at least it seems like, you know, I'm not going to say you're getting what you paid for, but you're getting more than you get on a normal Nike shoe. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I think dropped that's, 305. That's more than Yeezys. Yeah, that's uh, that's expensive. 